I'm, <laughs> yes, I'm pausing. <laughs> I'll just say pause to <laughs> Okay, yes, okay. Thank you, Tiffany, for help. Okay, I don't want to pause you guys again. Um, I'm going to wait and see if we can figure this out. Okay, do I have enough? I'm going to answer some questions right now because we're going to wait till she, Joanna Vargas, is going to connect with me and we're going to do a little bit of a facial at home. Um, there she goes. There we go. Yay! I think it's going to work. <laughs> we're waiting for JV Skincare. You guys should follow her. There's Hi! <laughs> Technical difficulties. You know what? It's part of it. Every live I've done, there's always been like a good like four minutes to ten minutes of figuring it out, and it's just it's totally. Just, it's just what it is. But here we are. Hi. Hi. It's so good to see you. <laughs> so good to see you too. What's up? You know, uh, welcome to my bathroom. Welcome to mine. I have a <laughs> ring light. That's you can see it. There's the cheating, but. It's, I have like a, some, some light coming in from up there, so I'm going to use that. Okay, cool. You look great. Are we, are we ready to have a facial together? Yes, I'm ready for a little facial, of course. Not, not the type of facial we're used to having. But, I mean, uh, I, miss, I miss those. But you know what? Something interesting that has happened, having to do all the routines that I usually used to do, like outside, like going to a facial, getting my nails done, going to the gym, all privileges, by the way, that I'm now very, like, so grateful and aware that I had. There has been something really nice of doing self-care at home. Don't yeah. worry, I really will. I'm going to, one of the first things I'm doing is going to get a facial. <laughs> but there has been a really, like, nice thing of, of doing things on your own and figuring it out as you go. Totally, and I think it's a lesson that we have to take time for ourselves too, that a lot of times people forget in the busyness of our lives that you actually do need to take care of yourself yeah. in order to be the best at what you do. So, you know, it's a good moment for us to hang out and do this, so. I think so um, too. Oh, I'm gonna first things first, put my hair back because I feel like I can never do anything with my hair. My hair goes everywhere, so we're gonna put this back. All right, so tell me, what do we start with? So um, I'm assuming that your skin is cleansed or do you wanna do a cleanse first? I think we should do a cleanse to show her because I think like, it's a very important step in our routines, isn't it? <laughs> I've been fine. So we are gonna use my vitamin C face wash. Uh, there it is. Um, you want to obviously work some water into it to get it a little bit foamy. So I'm just gonna show everyone, it's got a little pump and we're gonna pump it in here. Oh, it smells delicious. It smells very citrusy yeah. and orangey. I love it. Yeah. So when I do a cleanse um, in the salon and even at home, I really like to take time to really work the product into the skin. Uh -huh. uh, you wanna make sure that you're getting out all the sunscreen out of your pores. I, how did you know I put sunscreen on this morning? <laughs> <laughs> You're in California. <laughs> yes, that's, and that's been one of the biggest things that I would like to share, like my personal beauty tips. I think the first thing I learned um, as, a, as, as I got older was all the damage the sun had been doing to my skin. Totally, totally. Um, even before I was a facialist, I had that realization in my early 20s and I just stopped going in the sun so much. So if we were wearing makeup, you would want to like work it into your eyes. Into my makeup. eyes, right. Listen, and that's interesting because I, I usually, you know, I tended to think that just makeup was the only thing that was clogging my pores and there's really so many free radicals that can just get in your skin, correct? Like I don't totally. ever wear makeup and I had to learn the hard way that cleansing the step that we're doing is so important, right? Totally. It's it's the most important step in your routine. If you do nothing else, give yourself a good cleanse night and in the morning before you exactly. face exactly. the day. So I like to do upward circles just to get the circulation moving in my you know, face. Funny, this is something we never do, and it actually feels so good <laughs> to massage your skin. <laughs> um, so I think we're good, yeah? Let's yeah, I think so. Let's do a rinse. Let's do a little rinse. 
Yeah, and then we'll uh, do a mask. So, for this guy, how can we decide what's the benefits of vitamin C? Let me. Because that's what this one is, correct? Yes. Vitamin C is. Sorry, I had to dry off. Vitamin C so is one of those essential ingredients that no matter your skin type, you need vitamin C in your life. It brightens your skin, it reduces inflammation, it evens out pigment. Um, evens out pigment. See, that's like a big thing for me because I totally. do it a lot. I'm seeing, like, I'm 30 now. <laughs> I'm starting to see like little sunspots. And I, I, yeah. I, I've got the feel that now it's too late and you can't reverse that. But how do you like. You, know, you can totally reverse it. You can, you know, vitamin C during the day underneath makeup is important for that to stop the cell mutation from occurring. And you can really just exfoliate it. Um, you can also do laser to keep it at bay. But I think Latin women tend to get uh, melasma a lot easier. Um, you know, I'm Latin, you're Latin. We have different skin tones, but it's yeah. still the same thing. Yeah, you know? that, that's okay. the thing about Latina women. We have such a abanico. There's such a, like a, there's so many colors and skin tones that you can have. Um, yeah, you're right. Yeah. People tend to think that we have like very easy skin on the sun, and that's actually not the case. There's, no, there it's like one of those of falsehoods that people say. Okay, so mm -hmm. now we're nice and clean. Yes. So um, that cleanser is also a little bit exfoliating, which will be good for just keeping your pores a little bit cleaner in between facials. Mm -hmm. um, so now let's do a sheet mask. Okay, I am obsessed with your sheet masks. I, I, <laughs> it's just, it's such a godsend. They just feel so luxurious, like fresh and tightening. Well, depending, you have different ones too. So we're gonna try Twilight face mask. Yeah, I'm doing a Twilight also. So like, I love sheet masks because I feel like they make taking care of yourself so easy, um, which is why I have so many in my line. And it, they they did become. Uh, am I crazy or they they did become kind of like a like a trend? Like or ha, have they always been around? Like that's, because for me they came like now, like last year. You know before. they've they have been really popular in uh, in other countries. I think they became more trendy in this country more recently. But I like them because they're easy to use. Here's what I'm gonna um, look hilarious right now. I know. And they're easy. It's it's an easy way to, for you to take care of yourself. You can have different ones in your in your bathroom and choose whichever one you feel like you need in the like moment. Need. Yeah, I so mean this, that's it's just so easy. You just it, all the serums are in it, and you just push it in like this. Yeah, exactly. So you kind of want to make sure it's like sort of flat to your face, so you're kind of, and then just get some like on your lips, and get some in your eye area because you don't want to skip that. And uh, now I'm going to show you one of my my I new am products. So excited! Um, this is the Magic Glow Wand, which I'm really excited about. It just launched on Friday. So oh, wow! This is sort of meant to be an enhancement of your self care routine at home. Mm -hmm. So we are going to do setting number three with a magic glow wand, which is the cold setting. I like that it has like different lights for each setting. So when you turn it on, it's red, and the one for the three is purple. No? Yep. Cool. You can't see, but it is purple. <laughs> so. Uh, cold on the face, as you know, in the salon, we use cryotherapy to reduce yeah. inflammation. Um, it gives the appearance of tightened pores. Um, it depuffs. And it, it feels really nice. I mean, I love that yeah. part of the facial when you do the cryotherapy because it feels just very refreshing and it just feels like it's tightening the skin. Totally. It does tighten the skin. It increases oxygenation. Um, so we could do this over the sheet mask and this is just going to start like cooling the inflammation in our tissue. Yeah. So I, I, I have a question about that. I tend to wake up some mornings really bloated. Like my, my, my face just feels bit much rounder than what it normally is. Without totally. The inflammation, by the way, we look so funny. I love it. <laughs> I know. How, why, do you, why does that happen? 
So your lymphatic system doesn't have its own pump. So it relies on exercise. It relies on your diet. Um, and what we do to our skin uh, in order to function properly. So we're just not moving as much as we used to. Right. So everybody's waking up way puffier than and they in normally quarantine. would. I mean, but I guess also... in my case, and in quarantine specifically, I've been drinking a lot of wine. So... <laughs> <laughs> that might have a lot to do with it. So this, you know, that's normal. Everybody's been doing it, right? So you just want to cool down the inflammation. Also, you have to understand that inflammation is the precursor to aging. You have internal yeah. inflammation that sort of preps your skin for getting wrinkles or getting sun damage because your skin on the inside is healthy. So cooling the inflammation is really key to calming everything down. It's interesting because it's quite logical if you think about it, cooling inflammation. Yeah, absolutely. Because when your skin is inflamed, it does feel like it's on fire. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, okay, so you would do this. And does it matter what kind of motion you do with this wand? Is it just upwards or like circular? So I've been doing this because it feels good. But <laughs> in order to really get your lymphatic system moving, you want to always drive the wand uh, towards your lymph nodes. You have them on the sides, and that way it can drain down and out of your face, right? So you want to always go kind of to the sides and then down when you're doing it. Mm, I see. And you could kind of feel like, you know, the stress and tension in your face is calming down and that some of the, the lymph is starting to move around, you know? And that's something we never think of. Like, I don't think like I'll get, I'll go get a massage to be stressed. There, my head and my face it, are muscles that I don't really ever think of giving them any kind of release or having, you know. Yeah. And you, um, you know, you use your face for work. And so it must, like at the end of a work day, I can only imagine you do feel like the tension. Drained. Yeah, because yeah. Like all, all the emotions and everything, you, you carry that all, especially my jawline, like I tend to just, you know, grind a lot. Yeah. Um, and I'd never give myself the release I properly need, probably. <laughs> Probably, I mean, you know, it's not a common thing to think about, but it's good to, to be mindful that's your, that's your tool that you use for work. So, like, ideally, a sheet mask would be on for, you know, a good 15 or 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. we, however, won't be doing that now just so we don't bore everyone to tears. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and by the way, for anyone and everyone joining, we are doing a little mini facial at home in our bathrooms today. <laughs> so I would just say before we take it off, you want to make sure also to bring the serum down the neck. Oh, yeah. The neck is something that's always overlooked, isn't it? Yes. And it's very sensitive skin here, and it's very thin. So you want to just make sure you include your neck and your chest in all, all of your endeavors. Yeah, I actually tend to get a lot of hormonal acne in my chest. I get yeah, and, and, and in my back as well. And it, 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 it goes in and out. And yeah. I also never thought of taking care of my chest, for example. And now I make sure to exfoliate my chest. And that's been a game changer. Totally. And as you get older, your chest will become more and more of like your focal point because you get lines from where you sleep, from your breasts. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's always good to take care of it. Um, so let's, uh, I feel like we're, we're, we're good on the, uh, cooling mask. So now we're going to take it off. It's funny because it's actually warm on this side. <laughs> I know, right? Okay. So now you have all this serum on your face. Uh-huh. Um, I like to just spend a minute massaging it in and you could really do just a simple hand over hand, give yourself a little slap. I love this. Have you seen this <laughs> video that went viral of that little baby that has like massive yes. horrible cheeks and yes. the, the baby's just like <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I highly recommend this. It feels amazing. And it's not hard, right? No, it just, it looks way more like pro, than right? ever, you know? Yeah. It's like, yeah. <laughs> And then, like, as you get more confident, try to use more of your hand. Beginning, when you get out of beauty school, facialists tend to try to massage people's faces with just their fingertips. 
So you're uh -huh. doing a baby facialist right now, but try to use like whole hand. Whole hand. <laughs> yes, girl. There Woo! we go. <laughs> Honestly, workout. Skin workout. Yeah. Skin workout. Exactly. So now your, your serum is nice and penetrated into the skin and your glow is coming back to you. Yes. And now let's put on our serum. Okay. This is Let's talk the best about this baby because I hadn't tried it until he's like until I like this week and I'm obsessed. I'm not a scientist. You are the magic scientist. Tell me. <laughs> so vitamin C is the main ingredient here plus squalene, um, which is why it has an oily texture to it. So vitamin C is really key to protecting yourself against sun damage, against free radical damage. It will stop melasma from coming out in your face. It reduces inflammation. When it's you say really melasma, just to make it simple for me as well, what is that? Melasma means like um, just the brown spots that you get from the sun. Um, the sun so, spots, basically. you know, your skin gets inflamed and then you start to get more and more unevenness in your skin tone. Mm -hmm. I have it like here from being in cars and... yeah. Just you know, exposed to the to the skin, yeah. your UV lights. So if you even if you have acne, vitamin C is a key ingredient because it'll help reduce inflammation. It'll help heal acne, mm -hmm. and it'll prevent scarring. So it's I'm really like no matter what your skin is, you should use vitamin C. Vitamin uh, C then is my best friend. Yes. The product that we're talking about, guys, um, is the Joanna Vargas <laughs> Serum, which is a vitamin C serum. Yes. Okay. So, by the way, I don't know how you do this, but all of your serums have the most incredible smells. All of your products. Thank you. it's, it's insane. It's really important to me that the whole experience of taking care of yourself is a, a beautiful one, you know? And, and I you, you can tell there's not a single product in your line that isn't just delicious smelling. It's something that I, I work hard so that you feel like validated when you put it on. You're like, yes, I should be doing this every day. This feels yeah. so good. But I mean, it, it also goes in line with, you know, skincare can be quite expensive. And that is kind of an, an investment if you, if you consider yeah. that and if you can, you know, have the privilege to do that. So I, I appreciate that you make it such an experience. Yeah, so now that you have it all over your face, we're going to take our magic glow on back out and we're going to mm -hmm. do setting number four, which is cold plus massage. Oh, exciting. Which color? I'm, like, I'm obsessed with the color situation. <laughs> Blue. So I just, and it's easy to, to work. You just go press until you get to the blue or the four. Correct. There we go. Blue. Great. So now we're going to do a real lymphatic massage. So I want you to start on your neck and go down the neck. Yep. For three. And then underneath the jaw for three. This is like your triple crown facial. Exactly. Exactly right. And then above the jawline and down. This so the massage, so nice. <laughs> the massage motion is exactly like the massage motion I was taught when I was taught lymphatic drainage massage in school. So the, the lymphatic system moves in like a pulsating sort of wave-like motion. Mm -hmm. And that's the feeling of this massager. Yeah, I, I'm feeling like a little bit of a tingly thing. Yeah. Really nice though, not... So you just always want to like massage and bring it down. That way you're deep puffing as you go. I mean, this is like the ideal cue after a night out. <laughs> totally. <laughs> when we have those again. <laughs> yeah, someday. Someday. So in my face, you could really, I don't know if you could see it. It's one side versus the other one. I love when we yeah. do this when I, when I do your facials. You always show yeah. me like one versus the other. And it's actually insane. Yeah. Right. You can drain, literally. Yeah, totally. So now I'm just going to start in on the other side. You're going to start from the bottom, right? So you do, do the neck first. 
And then same thing, jaw, and you're gonna work your face upward. And this way, you're really like depuffing the skin. You're gonna get some contouring, some lift, some oxygenation going. And again, it just, it's a perfect thing to do. Like if you're going out for the day, you know, mm -hmm. when we all return back to our yeah. normal. Let's dream a little. Yeah. Um, it's the perfect thing to do like in the morning before you, you're getting ready because you'll feel like contoured and glowy. And deep puff, you know, that there's nothing for me more uncomfortable than feeling a bit bloated and, and, and puffy. Yeah. And you don't want to see that like when you're working or whatever. Yeah, no, you don't especially be... in camera, it's just not nice. <laughs> no, but you know, you're really easy because you're so active and fit that I feel like for you, depuffing is very easy. Well, you know, you are. Come on. I mean, honestly, my, my whole activeness and being fitness comes from a mental health perspective where if I don't work out, it just doesn't, I just don't function very well. I, I think it's true for everybody. It's good that you yeah. know that about yourself. I yeah. think what people don't realize is that, you know, working out can relieve so much stress. It, so it just much. works out the tension of the day. Um, and it's really good for you. In, in light of that, this is sort of the same type of thing. We're working out the stress out of your face. So you just feel brighter and healthier. Like you're glowing right now. I know it, it's I mean I feel it. I don't know if the lighting is helping us, but I feel so much glowing. <laughs> and I just want to add to that is like there, there's such an importance in like movement, you know, and like motion being lotion and how important it is for our bodies to keep moving and our faces. Obviously now I'm learning that yeah. and you, you can you can just see it. I can just tell it. it's a bit, you know, more taut and healthy. Yeah, it look I mean in this serum you could just use you know put sunscreen over Vitamin C actually makes sunscreen work better. Interesting. Because it increases your ability to defend against free radical damage. So like tip in the morning, because I, I I like to do very little. I wear yeah. very little makeup, so my routines tend to be very simple. At night, yeah. I try to put in more effort, like cleanse and I do serums and I layer things up. In the morning, I kind of don't even want to wash my face too much because I don't want to over, you know what I mean, like over clean it. Yeah. I like three simple steps, like a little bit of maybe rose water toner, and then maybe I should do a little vitamin C, and then SPF, what I do, yes. and then moisturizer? Or... No, SPF should be last. So if you're going to do a serum, then moisturizer, then SPF is always last. Okay. Like for me, during the day, I do a serum and then an eye cream, uh -huh. and then SPF, and that's it. Yes, see that that sounds like really doable to me because you know I, I grew up in Chile and beauty there was very simple. We were very isolated because of our natural borders, and yeah. so it's hard for us to get all the trends. And so growing up, beauty was very simple. The the skin was basically moisturizer and SPF. Yeah. And I remember when I moved to America like seven years ago, seven years already, it was so overwhelming <laughs> the amount of things. And I went in like the biggest beauty journey of like trying to do every single procedure and then learning about Botox and I had no idea about it and it really scared me and I feel like now I've come to a more just what works for me and I think that's also beauty in general like it should be very you know according to each individual yeah I mean beauty is meant to enhance or to be the best version of you that's like the goal not to like cookie cutter everybody into it something work no, it doesn't work at all. And anytime anybody tries to do that, the results aren't good. Obviously, you know, you turn into something that you're not, or you look a little bit, you know, not fresh. Exactly. So, exactly. You know, I feel like beauty is, there's like this idea that there's beauty standards, right? And I feel like I've, in the industry that I work in, in Hollywood, there's definitely been such a shift. I, and I, I've, I've seen it. We have ways to go. But it's interesting how I feel like there's way more room today for what I think beauty is, which is authenticity. And in that sense, if we are being true to ourselves, we have to match that with self -care. Yeah. I mean, I think that's one reason why I have gotten to know so many actors is because people are trying to just be authentically themselves, but mm -hmm. the best version of themselves. And I think in, in any walk of life, any career that you have, you know, your confidence comes from within. And if you're taking Absolutely. good care of yourself Absolutely. and you know it, 
Yeah, it shows. You don't, you don't need anyone to tell you you're pretty. You feel it. You feel exactly. you. You walk into a room yeah. and you own it, and that's sort of like my goal for all my clients. Um, Want to do some eye cream? Yes. So somebody asked if, if the question blew past if I use eye cream and moisturizer, which to use first. By the way, that's such a fair question because I've always been so confused. And I always like there's a funny like saying that Beyonce uses eye cream all over her body. And, like, <laughs> I just want to talk about it. What is the big difference between eye cream and face cream? So that's a great question. In a nutshell, you know, the eye area is very sensitive. So a lot of face creams are just too active and too okay. intense to put into the eye area. Uh -huh. So that's why you would have a separate eye cream. If, if you, for example, my daily hydrating cream, which I think you use, you can use it in the eye area because I didn't put anything in there that would irritate the eye area. But typically eye cream should be used in the eye. And I also like it on the lip line. That I, I, I've also heard some people do it here as well. Yeah. Like this, this, and this. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So, so we, would, I mean, we would do eye cream first, right? Before your moisturizer. Correct. Okay. So you want to just be really gentle in the eye area. It's not really... Uh, yeah, people even like... I've heard people like that. They'll use this finger. I think it was you who told me this because it's lighter. Yes, it my was, mom. My I'm mom like, told me that. And it was... <laughs> There we go. <laughs> <Not in the laughs> story. So we, I want to tell this. Joanna taught me once that you use this finger because it's kind of hard, by the way, to keep up. It's much lighter. Yes. Less strong, so it can be very. Yeah. Strong. So you're not like digging into your eyes, and you just want to like dab some on. If you're somebody who struggles with puffiness around the I, eye, I do. I always wake same. up with what I call toad frog eyes, and there's like. Yeah. So I just do like a really gentle pressure point massage after the eye cream is on, just lifting the eyebrows and going outward. And then yeah, with that- something everyone can do at home. That's what I love yeah. about these tips, you know? And then with your little fingers oh, this going one. around under. And then I just do that three times just to de-puff a little bit. It gets the circulation moving, uh, the lymphatic system moving, and it feels really good, no? It does. I'm just gonna be here for like hours just guys. Yeah. So which means I'm not gonna <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So there you go. That's mm -hmm. the eye cream application you wanna like you know, work it into the crow's feet area just to make sure you're not ignoring that. Mm -hmm. And then I use the excess that's on my fingers just to go around my lip line. Yeah, I'm starting to see these guys come in. I'm not happy about it, but you know what? That's also just like, <laughs> dude, you're a smiley gal. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> It's the sign of happiness. I, I agree. I agree. I'm just, I've entered a place in my life where I'm like, you know what? Screw it. This is, this is me. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Um, so if you want to put on a moisturizer, you can, or you can just go like this and go straight to sunscreen. Mm -hmm. um, for everybody who's at home with all of us together now, it's important to wear sunscreen, even if you're just sitting in the house. Can you explain why? So first of all, you're still getting radiation from outside from the sun through the windows, but also you're getting a lot of blue light radiation from devices. And so you need to wear sunscreen to protect your skin against the sun damage and, that is and against that, blue light damage. I, I, that is something I don't think people know. I, don't, I, I, I wouldn't think that SPF would protect me from a screen, for example. I also wouldn't think that SPF, I, that I would need SPF when, on, under a roof. And it's taken me a while to realize, oh no, SPF is a serious practice. And yeah. how often would you say you need to apply it? You know, you should really reapply uh, every two to three hours. So uh, you have to get something that's not just like, you know, layering. It's thick, because that's the thing about SPF. It can be really thick. It can be so thick. So I'm going to show you. Let me just grab mine. Yes, show me. Show you. 
I really love this one. Um, I they don't pay me to talk about it. It's super I, goop. Uh huh. Um, it's an SPF forty five. Disclaimer: Nobody pays me. By the way, nobody. I pays just want to people to know this is designer. just me talking and not like I'm not doing an ad, you know? Yeah, no, 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 no. I, I know people actually. It's like shocking that you can actually be happy to share tips and and products that you love. Without exactly. I feel like yeah. everybody is very quick to jump to conclusions. So yeah, just so you know. I love that you were doing a live with Renee Rulli, which is someone I, by the way, love. You and Barbara Sturm also get along. Like all my favorite ladies, that I like really, yeah. really admire. It's like it actually can be that way. Yeah, and why not? You know, yeah. we're not in competition. I, I'm in competition with me. That's it. Absolutely. Not in competition with anybody else. Absolutely. <laughs> so for me, this is a great, it's a setting powder. So you can use it over makeup oh, or, yeah, naked face. It's just like in the brush. Um, someone's asking me to, and it's. All right, there I am. Uh, setting powder, SPF 45. So I, you can apply this all over. And honestly, a lot of sunscreens don't work for me because of my melasma. I get it so easily. Mm -hmm. This one just happens to work really well for me. I don't get brown spots on my face uh, when I use this. And so, it doesn't seem like it goes on powdery at all. It seems like it's a No, I, I still look glowy. Yeah, because my favorite, my favorite look for my skin is a bit dewy. Which is why yeah. I have the serum on top. I mean, the, the, the moisturizer on top of the serum because I feel like I can get that. Yeah. yeah I like to look like a glazed donut. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I like to look like a great Krispy Kreme glazed donut, which is my favorite. <laughs> yeah, that's what I go for every day. <laughs> so this, I don't feel like blocks... Uh, the glow and, mm -hmm. and it doesn't make me feel dehydrated. Whereas like a lot of um, cream SPFs, they tend to get into your pores and they're, it's very hard to get off. Also, I hate a white pass. I, I hate when you like put it on and you look like- Well, of course, ghost. because I, uh, most people can't use those very zinky sunscreens for that reason. So I, do you, what's your SPF the, of choice? What do you like to use? Currently, so I was going, I was using the Glossier Shield for a while, but then uh -huh. I, I ran out of it. And I, a friend of mine told me about this one. The oh, Renee. I think you, you were just talking to her like yesterday, no? Yeah, she's a really good friend of mine. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't know, and I just, I ordered this from her brand, and I started using it, and I actually love it, because it's, yeah. it's, it feels like SPF, I have also, I, I personally have a weird thing that I needed to smell like SPF, and I think it has to do with my attachment to, like, Chilean summers, <laughs> like, I still want to feel like I'm at the beach, maybe, so this one, and I'm going to put it on, I can put it on on top of what we just yes. did, right? Yeah, yes. so we're ending, basically, our facial with some SPF. And it's still very white. Um, and it's what small. SPF is it? How, what number is it? It's 30. Is that too low or is that okay? You know, I think if you're not going in the direct sun, like if you were going to go not. walk on the beach. Yeah, I go 50. But maybe if I'm indoors, 30 is good. Exactly. Yeah. I really like but it. But just bear in there. mind that even though you have that on, you still need something to walk around with. Even if you're in meetings all day, I know to reapply, which is right. why I like it. maybe that's a good start at the beginning of the day, and yeah. then you get something like and then this. Something like that, you could just reapply easily yeah. throughout the day. Yeah. Um, people are asking if we can list the product. I'll, I'll add, we can we can talk about the one. I'm gonna like maybe name all the products that we used today. Yeah, that's perfect. We started out with the vitamin C face wash. We did the twilight mask. Then mm -hmm. we did the rescue serum, which is a vitamin C serum. Yeah. Um, we did the like, eye cream. The revitalizing eye cream. And then we used uh, the two different SPFs. Two different SPFs. And we did the magic glow wand. <laughs> My girlfriend just is commenting this. <laughs> <laughs> and and th this is the one that I really want to end, which is like the, the big thing that you're about to release this yeah. Friday. Yeah. Um, I get to have it before because I'm so special. <laughs> this is my new device. It's the first time I've ever done a device. It took me three and a half years to make it. Wow. I'm so, so proud of it. Um, and I really meant it, I, you know, for people who can't 
get facials regularly or don't know where to begin mm -hmm. or want to do more to up their self-care game, this gives you a lot of structure on how to do that. So yeah and i mean you can just do it at home especially at these times and i i felt i mean i feel i don't know if you guys can really see but i'm going to post a little photo afterwards in natural light because i'm getting this weird skylight but I, I i can i can feel the the difference you look amazing well thank you it's because of you it's because of joanna vargas <laughs> <laughs> we i need to come up with like that one liner that l'oreal has it should be like joanna vargas today. <laughs> it's not that good but i'll come up with something <laughs> this has been so much fun hanging out with you. It has. For anybody joining us, this is what it's like when she and I are in our, alone in a room together doing a facial. We talk nonstop. <laughs> we laugh louder than, I mean, I think people can hear us down the block. Yeah, they can. <laughs> but that's, I feel like that's, that's self-care. It's inner and outer. It's, it's both. Totally. Totally. Anyway, thank you so much. This has been amazing. It was so thank much fun you. to hang out with you. Same, same. I'll